right you guys so we thoroughly tested out the fuel pump in this car and uh, it's working great so I think the next thing on the list is to install that clutch oh and also I want to make a shout out to uh, one of my subscribers and uh, definitely you guys should check this guy's channel out he's getting really close to hitting a thousand subs I like to help him out uh, so if you guys want to check out his channel he does a lot of stuff on like F bodies he's got a Corvette as well he sent me this shirt got it that's his channel name right there chemical sports got like a metallic silver to the gears over here really high viz uh, red on there just like his Camaro he's got a late body style fourth gen super sport no tag on the shirt appreciate that and uh, yeah thanks man I appreciate it Nothing like getting some, some fresh clothes. Yeah. All right, so here is the clutch setup. It has a hydraulic throwout bearing with this kit. And um, let's see, I believe we got all the hardware to go with it. So one of these is gonna be installed inside the transmission. I gotta read the instructions, but um, yeah, it comes with new lines to bolt up to the factory stuff. Even got some this doesn't come with the kit normally but we got some new flywheel bolts you're gonna need to change out your flywheel bolts from the factory stuff but we've got some ARP upgraded bolts as well and here is the twin disc so this is converting it from a pull style clutch to a push style clutch kind of like what all the later cars are actually set up for so if we pull off the pressure plate here set that down We've got disc number one, and if you're concerned about which way it goes, they're labeled. Very nice. So we'll throw that in. Right there. Then what we have is a floater plate. This um, has these uh, arms on it that are basically like a spring to take up any extra slack. Looks like spring steel, multiple layers. I'm not sure exactly, don't quote me on it. But we got our floater plate goes like that so we will throw these down here and we've got our second disc right here same situation this is the organic friction so this is very uh, street friendly so that's a nice uh, nice little unit right there and then we've got our billet steel flywheel you can get these in aluminum um, but one thing I was like I was mentioning earlier is this is actually thinner right here so you're gonna need thinner bolts so you want to want to grab some of these uh, thinner ARP bolts. I'll see if I can get a part number and leave that in the description as well. Yeah, as you can see, definitely going to need these. All right, let's get this thing uh, thrown up in the underside of the engine here and uh, we'll get back to you.
All right, so now that everything is in spec, um, we've got about 4.8 uh, mil of clearance where the spec is, I believe 3.8 to 5.4. Um, let's double check. Yeah, we've got 4.45 mil clearance and the spec the spec for clearance is 3.81 to 5.08. So you need that amount of gap in between your slave cylinder and the fingers of the clutch. So it's not much, but you don't want it. You don't want this slave cylinder constantly pressing on the teeth, or you're basically not going to have good holding power, and you don't want to have an excessive travel in order to fully disengage the clutch. Because if you're not fully disengaging the clutch when you're shifting through the gears, um, you're going to have all kinds of issues. So, especially at higher RPM. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little unit. So we lucked out, we didn't actually even need a shim. So we're right smack in the middle. Um, now I did take a measurement of this stud and I will be trimming that off. And you can see that that pin sticks out further. So we're gonna cut that. Um, I think they say you can cut it just shy of full travel. And there is the slave cylinder fully extended. I took a measurement of this and this is about eight mil. It's just a, a few uh, tenths over. That's pretty much going to sum it up. This clutch definitely shifts like butter. Really happy how it turned out. Uh, just take your time and make sure everything goes smoothly, you know, especially getting that uh, slave cylinder in the bell housing. That was a little tricky getting it all back together. We're going to call that a win. And uh, we've got door hinge pin bushings coming up next on this car. So look out for that video coming up shortly. So appreciate you guys watching and uh, catch you on the next one.